Last time we got our permissions verified for the share activity so that we could get ready for adding media to our project. Uh, now we need to build the layout for this file. So you can see here I have activity home assigned as the layout for this, uh, but we're gonna obviously create a different layout for this activity. So to start off, we'll go and create a new layout file and I'll call it activity share. And let's go to the text tab. Oops. And we'll change this to uh, coordinator layout because we're going to need to use a uh, we're going to need to use tabs on the very bottom. And let's see, we'll create a relative layout. Oops, relative layout. And do match parent match parent. And this is going to be kind of the main container here. And now we're going to break it up into pieces with different relative layouts. So match parent and match parent for this one. But I'm going to give it an ID of rel layout one. And we need a margin bottom of 50 dp because that's where our tabs are going to be. Our tab bar is going to be uh, 50 dp and here we just need to include the layout for whoops, layout 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 for um, I think it was the center view pager. Yeah, so that's going to be what holds our tabs. So that's like our, this is our tab container. So the center view pager, if you don't remember, it's just straight up a, a view pager widget and it's just for holding tabs. So that's that's all that's gonna be. And now at the bottom here, we'll do match parent and wrap content. And this one is gonna be rel layout two. And inside, oh, we need to align parent bottom. Uh, actually, we can do that inside of the, the snippet. So I'm gonna create another snippet here and be layout and so I'll go at, I haven't made it yet, so it's gonna show up right here. So we layout bottom tabs. And inside layout bottom tabs, we'll create the tabs and we're gonna align it, the parent to the bottom. So let's create this layout. I'm just gonna copy that and go to layout, new layout, layout bottom tabs. And we're gonna use our merge tag. So let's go into a snippet and any snippet. I'm just gonna grab the merge and paste it in and close the merge. And inside here, we're gonna create a relative layout. Oh, all oh, right, because we're inside merge tags. Uh, maybe let's undo, 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 undo. And then before that, I'm gonna change this to a relative layout. Do that. And then paste the merge and close the merge. There we go. That saves me some typing. Tab that over, tab those in. Okay, and now we want to create an app bar layout. So app bar layout and do match current and wrap content. And inside the app bar layout, we're gonna do a tab layout. And these, this is gonna be our tabs, obviously. And wrap content, and we can give it an ID of tabs bottom. And let's do color. I can't remember if they default to um, I can't remember if they default to white or if they default to gray. So I'm just going to make them white just in case because I can't remember. And we need to align parent to bottom. So let's go up here and do align parent bottom true. And that should be good. Except for the height. Height needs to be 50 dB. Okay. So let's go into here and we can see that is added. Let's click here. You can see our tab bar is down at the bottom now. So we have our container occupying the ma majority of the layout. Then you have just that little 50 DP section down here at the bottom where our tabs are gonna be. Okay, pretty simple. Now let's go into share activity and change this to activity share. So that's gonna be the correct layout now. And what, how much time we got? We got, uh, this video is still pretty short so we can probably set up the view pager while we wait here. So private view pager and view pager. And we'll create a method for setting up the view pager. Oh, we need to add some comments to here too. So verify all the permissions uh, passed. Is it passed? Yeah, pa or is it? Yeah, that's the passed, so that's passed to the array. Okay, and then uh, private void set up view pager. And we need to use our sections sections pager adapter, not our sections state pager adapter, because remember that's for if you're not using tabs. And so get support fragment manager, and then we do adapter and we add our fragments. And have I made those fragments? No, I haven't. 
So maybe we don't have time. Well, I'll type them in. Uh, let's just do uh, add fragment, and it's going to be a new. It's going to be a gallery fragment. I'm going to call that one, and the other one's going to be adapter add fragment new uh, photo fragment. And obviously, I haven't made those yet, so it's red. So we can just comment those out and add those in as soon as we're ready. And then do our uh, view pager uh, equals view pager view find view ID. Oh, I don't have the view because oh, I'm in an activity. And then this is a view pager, I think, or something. Did I even name it? Center view pager. Oh, it's just container. That uh, is container and then uh, view pager whoops set adapter set to our adapter and the tab layout whoops yeah it's a tab layout tab layout equals tab layout find your ID r to id dot tabs bottom was the ID and what's going on there did I put a table layout accidentally in here I did uh, tab, oops, tab layout, there we go, and that's, there we go, okay, and then tab layout, uh, setup with view pager, and then you pass the view pager, and we can, uh, set the text for each one of the tabs, just by going tab layout, set tab, set tab at, oh, get tab at, get tab at, and then the index of the tab. So the first one is going to be the gallery fragment. So set uh, text to gallery. And actually, we should add those strings to our strings file. I'll do that in a second. So and then this one's going to be photo. So let's go into our strings file really quick here. And I guess it's just going to be under like a random strings section. So copy a string. This is just going to be, I guess, gallery. And so it's just going to be straight up gallery. And this one will be photo. And photo. So where was I here? Get, get string, r dot string dot gallery. And get string, r dot string dot photo. Okay. And we want to set up the view pager after we've called permissions. So that is good. I'm going to comment this out because uh, it'll create an error if we run it. So let's just run it and take a look at our layout. We expect basically to see nothing because the view pager isn't going to be set up. We're just going to see basically a, a blank screen. We expect to see a blank screen. Okay, let's go to share activity and we get a blank screen. So that's what we expect. And now in the next one, we are gonna create these two fragments, the gallery fragment and the photo fragment, and we'll actually continue on with setting up that view pager. So I'll see you guys in the next video.